influence her? Like, hmm. what's up with that? Hmm. With that, some green under the table? Yeah. That table, <laughs> exactly. That tablecloth had some green in it, so I don't know. I'm yeah. suspicious. That's like me saying, I'm sensing the color red. Red. Yeah. yeah. And then now Jeff Gianola <laughs> predicting it for the Chiefs. You see, that's how yeah. that works. That's right. All right. Don't be mad at us, boss, because he's an yeah. Eagles fan. Yeah. Okay. So this weekend, of course, the game is big. Most will uh-huh. watch indoors, uh, which is good for these temperatures lately. Yes. You definitely want to find a, a warmer spot because wow. temperatures are still expected to be staying below average for the big game day festivities right here in the Rose City. That's where we expect to see those temperatures right around 43 degrees, of course. Of course, that is on Sunday as we prepare for a bit of a wintry mix for your Saturdays. That cloud coverage, it is widespread across much of downtown Portland. You can see some of the fresh layer of snow out towards the foothills of the Cascades there from downtown Portland as we anticipate some of these clouds to bring a stray raindrop or two within the next several hours. I got to give a big shout out, though, to the kiddos, the fourth graders at Butternut Creek Elementary School out towards the Aloha area. Just a great weather talk, and we also gave them a virtual tour at the Queen Six Studios while also creating a tornado in their classroom. So not only fun did I have with the kiddos this morning, but a lot of fun still to be had for this evening for the Portland Winter Light Festival. You got the green lights to go. Temperatures falling back into the upper 30s by about 9 o'clock. By the time the first night ends, that's where we anticipate a little bit more of that wet weather. But likely going to be picking up on just a straight light drizzle here and there through the Portland-Vancouver area over the next hour or so. This is a very small cell of the wet weather that's tracking its way from the west to the east. A little bit of snow falling over the coast range as we anticipate the brunt of the system still remaining offshore by the time we get into the early morning hours tomorrow. But an inch to four inches possible for the coast range. The foothills of the Cascades nearing about two to four inches. Keep in mind, all of this is above about a thousand feet or so. If you're below that, which much of downtown Portland, much of our communities are under that category, that's where we will likely be holding on to just the rain potential as the snowy conditions can still be found up in elevation. Building back up that base layer, you got to remember January ended significantly dry for not only the I-5 quarter, but many of our ski resorts as a low pressure system is the culprit for the abundance and moisture here across Western Oregon, Southwest Washington, anticipating this cool pocket of air to still sit overhead for much of next week. We could potentially experience some of the coldest temperatures we have felt so far this winter season over the next several mornings as high pressure slides into place. Another low out over the Pacific really helps for an atmospheric river to start to take shape. That means not only significant rainfall come next Friday and the next Saturday, but also some warmer temperatures temperatures on the horizon as it funnels that moisture from Hawaii into the Pacific Northwest. That's where we see our snow elevation levels retreat back up to about 45 100 feet by the end of next week, but at least for tonight after the midnight hour soaking rains for the I-5 quarter snow for elevations above about 1000 feet again, maybe for the Portland Vancouver area. You might pick up a stray snowflake or two, but for the most part, it will be on the lower end of things as far as the accumulation goes. And if anything does fall, it's going to be melting on contact or quickly after it clears out as we dry out those skies just in time for Sunday. That's where those cooler than average temperatures stay with us anywhere from the Coast to the Cascades. So our snow accumulation looks a little on the aggressive side. Anywhere that you see this light shade of blue, about an inch. I'm leaning more so on the zero inch side of things, if not maybe a trace, but out towards the east side of town, maybe an inch to two inches a possibility, but not lasting past the lunchtime hour. Tonight falling to about 34 degrees, that rain snow mix starts to fall well after midnight, takes us through about nine o'clock before everything transitions back over to rain with an expected afternoon temperature of about 44 degrees. So from about sunrise to about 9 a.m., a coin six weather alert in place. Then it ends, it's just scattered showers, Temperatures mid 40s, more sunshine for Sunday, but look at those cold early morning lows, low 20s possible come Monday night into Tuesday or Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then we see the atmospheric river impacting us for the end of the day, Thursday and end of Valentine's Day one week from today. Atmospheric river, that's usually a lot of precipitation. Uh, it is, so we got to buckle up and prepare for it now. Rain wow. boots, raincoat, got it. Yep. Thanks, Josh. Well, still ahead.